Hey everyone, Miss B here. I have a video for you on gas stoichiometry. I'm hoping this feels very easy or maybe just kind of gets the rust off, but what it does is it's going to combine our current unit gas laws with our last unit about stoichiometry. So just a reminder, these are the steps for stoichiometry. The first thing you always have to do is balance the chemical equation or make sure it's balanced. And then you look at the given numbers. A lot of the times I'm nice and I give them to you in moles already, so you can keep you can skip this step and move on. But um, a lot in this um, video, I'm not going to give you moles all the time. So you're going to have to use your mole island to take those given numbers and turn them into moles. Um, then you'll fill out your before, the B boxes on the BCA table with those mole values, zero for the products, and then your change boxes. Remember, it's going to be minus some number times X for the reactants, and that numbers your coefficient, plus some number times X for the products, that numbers your coefficient, and then we figure out what X is. So you're going to take the moles in the B box divided by the coefficient for each reactant and the smaller answer becomes our x. Then you'll actually plug in that x, right, minus some number times x plus some number times x. Well now we know what x is so you can actually plug it in and then we can calculate what A is, the after box, and remember B plus C gives us A. Then the last step is whatever the answer is, we have to convert it to whatever the desired unit is for that problem using Mole Island. I highlighted two of these steps in red. The reason these are highlighted is not because they are new. You had to do this last unit too, but in this unit, we are probably going to use the volume islands most, most likely. Right, So yes, we could still have to go to Mass Island, maybe they give us grams, but it's most likely because this is gas stoichiometry, they might give me liters and I have to go from liters to moles either at STP using 22.4 or not at STP using that PV equals NRT, that Pivnert equation. All right, here's a practice problem. What volume of NH3 will be produced if 10 liters of H2 reacts with 25 liters of N2 at a pressure of two atmospheres and a temperature of 305 Kelvin? So first step, balance the equation. I see large numbers in front, check, that's already balanced. Next, turn the given number, so 10 liters and 25 liters, into moles. So I need to use some mole island. So we have two islands that are called volume island. One is at STP, standard temperature and pressure, and one is not at STP. I see that it's two atmospheres and 305 Kelvin. That is not standard pressure. That is not standard temperature. So we are going to be going from volume, which is not STP, island, to mole island for both of these. And the only way to do that is by using the equation Pivnert. P times V equals N times R times T. So let's do each of these kind of one at a time. Let's do hydrogen first. So P is pressure. We know it's two atmospheres. Oops. The volume is 10 liters. We're looking for the number of moles, that's this guy. R is always 0 0.0821, and my temperature, 305 Kelvin. When I take um, 2 times 10, and then 0 0.0821 times 305, so this side and then this side, and I divide both sides by this result to get N all by its lonesome, I get N equals 0 0.799. All right, and that's mole. I want you to try to do the same thing for N2, so pause the video. I'm going to put the answer up, and I want you to see if you, just to make sure you did the math correctly. So pause the video, solve for N2, and I will put up the answer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, when I did this math, I got 1.996765, blah, blah, blah. So that rounds up to 2 moles. So we turned our givens into moles. Now I'm going to set up my B, C, A table. And the next step is to fill in the before box. So before this reaction actually happens, I have 2 moles of N2 and 0.799 moles of H2. And before the reaction begins, there is 0 moles of the NH3. Now we fill out our C box. So 
I, when I actually do this recipe, I'm going to use up 1 times x of the um, N2 because of this 1. I'm going to use up 3 times x of the H2 because of this 3. And I'm going to make 2 times x of the NH3 because that's a product. So that's why it gets the plus sign. Down here, we're going to find x. Figure out what that x value is. In order to do that, we're going to take for N2 and for H2, so just the reactants, we're going to take the before box, 2.0 moles, and divide it by the coefficient. So divide it by 1. That gives me 2. And we're going to take 0.799 moles, divide it by the coefficient of 3. I get 0. 0.2. 266. The smaller value is our x. So 2 versus 0.266, that's this guy. He's smaller, so x is 0.266. We're going to plug that in. So this will be now minus 1 times 0.266, minus 3 times 0.266, plus 2 times 0.266. All right, to get a, remember b plus c is equal to our a. So I'm going to take 2 minus 1 times 0.266 and that gives me 1.734 moles and that's remaining so that's my leftovers. H2 is 0.799 minus 3 times 0.266 that gives me it says 0 0.001, and I have a feeling that's because I rounded this answer. It really should be zero, right? Zero moles remaining. How do I know that? Well, this is my superstar. This is the limiting reactant that runs out. So I know that 0 0.001, that's just because I, I rounded this answer and chopped off those extra digits, okay? So your limiting should always be at zero. And then last, zero plus two times 0 0.266 is... 0 0.532 moles produced. So this question wants to know what volume of NH3 will be produced. So I'm going to take the moles produced and we want to solve for volume. So we are still not at STP, so I have to use PIVNERT. So we know the pressure is two atmospheres. We want to know the volume. We know it's 0 0.532 moles. R is always 0 0.0821, and it's still 305. Let's solve for volume. So I got 2V equals 13.32. Divide both sides by 2, so it cancels. So I get the volume is 6.67, no, 6.66 liters. Woohoo! All right, let's just do one more because this one's kind of like a backwards one. What volume of hydrogen is necessary to react with excess nitrogen to produce 48.5 liters of NH3 at STP? So first step, see if the equation's balanced. Yep, same as the last slide, we are balanced. Then we turn the given number in, um, into moles. So on this one, we have liters, so we know we're on volume island and we want to get to Mole Island, but we are at STP, at standard temp and pressure. So there's a whole new island for that, and we know to go from Volume Island to Mole Island that one mole is equal to 22.4 liters when you're at standard temp and pressure. So I'm going to take this 48.5 liters. I know that for every 22.4 liters, there's one mole. So I'm going to take 48.5 divided by 22.4, and I get 2.17 moles of NH3. Now let's set up our BCA table. Before, change, after. So this one's kind of backwards, though, because it says what volume of hydrogen is necessary to react with excess N2 to produce the 48.5 liters. So we're producing that. 2.17 moles is produced. Well, let's fill out what we can. 
Okay, I'm still going to go in the same order. We do our before box. They told me that this one's excess. I'm looking for this guy, so I don't know it yet. Um, and the products, we're going to start with zero. We know that before this actually reacts, there was no NH3. Now let's do our change. We're going to do minus 1x, minus 3x, plus 2x. So now we have to find x. Here's the difference. We are not going to do the before divided by the coefficient. What we're going to do is we're going to use the column that we know the most about. Remember, b plus c has to equal this a. So what if I wrote an equation? Find x. So 0, the b, plus c, plus 2x, has to equal the a, which is 2.17. Well, we know that 0 just drops out. So 2x equals 2.17. So let's divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 1.08. All right, so now we know x. Let's plug that in. Minus 1 times 1.08. Minus 3 times 1.08 plus 2 times 1.08, okay? Excess minus 1 times 1.08, that's just going to leave us with excess. So let's figure out what this question mark is. Well, if your guy here is excess, I shouldn't start that, that's confusing. If he's excess, that means this one has to be the limiting or the superstar. And what do we know about the superstar? That it's going to end with 0. Right? The superstar always runs out first. So now, can I find my question mark? Figure out what that is. I know that question mark minus 3 times 1.08 has to equal 0. So what is 3 times 1.08? That will be my question mark. It is 3.25 moles of H2. Last step, they want to know what volume. So we know that at STP, one mole is 22.4 liters. So let's multiply 3.25 times 22.4, and I get 72.75 liters of hydrogen is what we need. Hopefully that helps. I have three practice problems for you to try, um, and you're actually going to grade yourself and then upload your graded answer. So you get points um, for trying it on your own. Don't look at the answer key. Get a different color pen or pencil, grade yourself, and then upload it. If I can tell you genuinely tried on your own and then graded yourself in a different color, you get three out of three, even if you got every single one wrong the first time you tried it. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have questions.